Hi class, let's talk about Bronfen Brenner's theory of the bioecological systems. So Yuri Bronfen Brenner, who was he? He was American psychologist. And what did he do? He worked on studying child development and human development. His work was instrumental in getting the first Head Start program started here in the States back in 1965. So what he had to say about society and how children are socialized and how their development is affected really has a lot of weight, carries a lot of weight in the early childhood education field. So let's look at a couple quotes that help us to better understand his theory. The first quote is, one knee does not raise up a child. And the second quote is, it takes a village to raise a child. Now, both of those pretty nicely sum up what Bronfenbrenner was saying with his theory of ecological systems. What he was saying was basically a person's development, a child's development is affected by everything that is surrounding that child. For example, their friends, their family, where they go to school, how they're um, educated, religion, society at large, the culture of the country within which they live, all of that, all of those things play a big part in how a child develops socially, emotionally, physically, cognitively, everything influences a child's development. Now, what he did with his theory was that he divided up all of these factors or all of these different environments that affect a child. He divided them into five different categories, which he called environmental systems or ecological systems. Now let's see. Summarizing his main ideas was that children's development is influenced by many factors. You see, I have here nature and nurture. What nature and nurture means is that a child's genes affect their development and a child's environment affects their development. He also said that family, society, and culture affect children and the family. Mainly family, society, and culture are affected by each other because there's a big interplay with all of those factors and between all those factors. And he said that family is the main socializing agent, meaning that parents are a child's first and best teacher. Okay. Children are born into families and those families socialize those children and teach them everything they need to know about being a productive citizen in society. Now, let's break down his systems, those environmental categories, ecological categories that he broke down um, into systems. He says the first system is a micro system, micro meaning small, a very small enclosed system, which includes the things and the people with which the child has constant interaction. All right, put yourself in this picture and think about the people and the things that you interact with on a daily basis who are closest to you and they affect you the most. For example, how could friends influence or affect a child's development? Well, perhaps a child's cognitive development might be influenced by their friends because say younger children want to learn what older children are doing. They often want to do what older children are doing. You might see children, young children, trying to copy their older siblings, right? They want to learn what their older brothers and sisters know how to do. That affects their development. How can church affect um, or influence a child's social, social emotional growth? Well, socially at church, you learn morals, right? That's what religion teaches us is how to be morally, um, morally correct in everything that we do, right? How can school affect a child's development? Again, cognitively, kids are learning in school, right? So that's the micro system. Let's move on. Then we have a mesosystem. 
That word mezzo means in between or interrelated. So this mezzo system consists of interactions and relationships that happen between two or more things in a child's microsystem. So let's put yourself into that picture. Let's think about how you developed as a child when and how you were influenced or how your development was influenced when let's say your mom and dad went to the conferences at school. That influenced then how you behaved, whether you started doing your homework or you started rebelling, right? So those are some interactions between two or more things in the microsystem. Those are part of the mesosystem. We have the exosystem, which is one step removed from the child in their microsystem. The exosystem consists of things like the parents' jobs and like social services or school boards, things that the child does not come into contact with directly, but that affect the parents, which then in turn affect the child. That's the exosystem. So if you put yourself in that picture, that exosystem, that outside system, that's what exo means, outside. That outside system would be, let's say, the community college board, the city council, right? You don't deal with those things directly, but what they do can affect you. Then we have the macro system. Macro means big, right? So a big, broad view. This is where we talk about things like the attitudes and ideals and values of a country or society. So think about the attitudes and values of this country and how they affect in turn things like social services. And then those things then affect the family, which then affects the child. So you think about recently we've had stimulus checks going out because a lot of people are unemployed because of the situation that our government has placed upon us. So that affects the child and their development. And finally, it's a chrono system, which means the realm or the element of time. Think about how time changes you. And then you'll understand how time can change everything. Children grow up, right? You might have a baby born into the family. You might have an elderly grandparent pass away. You may be a child celebrating a bat mitzvah or a quinceanera. Time changes everything. Now here's a great illustration that you can look at. I want you to look for the microsystem. So here's a child and here's the word microsystem. It's showing you these things going around the child, part of his microsystem. Then I want you to look for the mesosystem right here. You'll see these things show interactions between two or more things in the microsystem. Peers interacting with the media would be friends going to the movies. That affects the child's development, their social skills. Then you have the media interacting with community where we might have censorship of books or art. That will affect the child's development. Then let's look out here to these one step away. These things are in the exosystem. Community boards, federal state commissions, social services, parents work. The child's not directly interacting with them, but they can affect the family which then in turn affects the child. Then let's look here at the macro system, society and culture, economics, religion, science, technology, political ideology. If we were to go to war, that would affect all of these systems that surround the child. Then here's the time, the chrono system, and how it is shown going through all of these other systems. So you have your microsystem, close interactions, mesosystem, connection between microsystem, exosystem, one step removed, and the macrosystem, which is society and culture at large, and then the chronosystem, which is time. Now here's a little test. See how you do. Put yourself in the picture. Name two people in your microsystem. Great. Now, how about naming two connections that happen within your mesosystem? Yep, you got it. Now, two things that are one step removed from you in your exosystem. Keep thinking.
All right, that's good. Now name two things that are at large in the culture, at large in the macro system. Perfect, great. Now finally, name two ways that you've been affected by your chrono system. And you got it. We're all products of our environments. And that's basically what Bronfen Brenner was saying. So if you need time to review this, do that before you go to that quiz. Really easy quiz. And I think you'll get it. Thanks for listening. Good luck on the quiz. Bye-bye.